this is a 6 kva inverter um, it's actually a little more than 6 kva because it's 6 kilowatts but mm -hmm. let's call it 6 kva and then this is a 20 kilowatt battery this is a huge battery mm -hmm. um, if it was those smaller batteries this would be like eight of it okay. those um traditional oh, leather seat batteries yeah. yes now the inverter connects to the battery mm -hmm. to show us information about the battery mm -hmm. and also to save power in the battery okay. the power the inverter is going to save in the battery comes from the solar panel mm -hmm. you can't see that one because it's on your roof yeah. but it has been connected through some wiring yeah. right up there mm -hmm. now when you need uh, you need to use this system now we have created this changeover okay. which you don't need to turn switch on and off a lot it will only be needed for like troubleshooting okay. but, but all you need to do is leave it down here mm. where we say inverter okay. so this means that the inverter is controlling the affairs of the house okay. this also means that NEPA can come in but that NEPA will go through the inverter to power the house okay. so depending on the settings we've done on the inverter the we can choose that oh when NEPA comes in don't even charge our battery with NEPA okay. we can choose that on the inverter okay. we can choose that when NEPA comes in okay just switch everything to NEPA but use solar to charge the battery mm -hmm. so there are many settings we can do on the inverter okay. that's why we, we want to put it keep it here so that the NEPA goes into the inverter mm -hmm. and our settings is what controls how NEPA is used yes great now so if uh, for some reason I need to use generator but I turn on if I turn on generator it should still be here mm -hmm. and the generator will still enter into the system okay. and this is the inverter will determine whether it should how it should use it okay. depending on our settings now if the generator cannot power the system you will find out that the generator may go off occasionally okay. In that case, we may say, okay, let's re let's assume there was no inverter. Let's just power the house directly. That's when we now have to move this up mm -hmm. because the generator cannot oh, enter I power the inverter. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So if, whenever we do this, we have removed the inverter system from the house electrical system setup. Oh, yeah. So the house has this electrical system, which our inverter system has now come to um, join. But you can remove the inverter system by just moving up. Okay. That will assume that there's no. So if something is parking here for some reason, uh, yeah. you just want to be sure, you can just move it out here. Okay. So this is um, segregated. Okay. Yes, isolated. Isolated. Yeah. yeah. So now, when it is here, the system is called, um, controlling everything. Um, there is a box here. Mm -hmm. The breaker box has these two, which is related to solar panel. If I want to turn off solar panel, I just need to turn off this guy. If I, want to, if I don't want solar panels to charge it, let's okay. say there's some sort of um, thunderstorm that okay. I maybe I just say, okay, let me just turn it off, even though you don't really need to. Okay. But let me just turn it off just to be on the safe side. Or something's happening with my panels, I'm not sure. Okay. I just want to turn it off. This way I turn it off. Now, if I want to bring in grid, this is where I bring in grid. Okay. So up means on, down means off. Okay. Now this is on so that when you on generator, it can come into the system. When you, when NEPA comes in, it can come into the system. Okay. Well, if I turn this off manually, even if I have generator or NEPA lights, it will not even come into the system. Okay. So it has no chance to even get to the inverter. So why, this is why, like a manual override. So why is why is it has it got lights like? Yes, know? yes, yes. So if it comes on, you see the voltage of the power coming in from NEPA. Okay. You see the voltage and the current okay. because that's what the power is made of. So now we can leave it off so that whenever you put bring it, someone has to come and turn this on. If you bring what? Uh, like you bring in a generator, generator or, NEPA. or NEPA. Someone has to turn this on to allow NEPA. Okay. okay. And like for my system at home, I don't use NEPA at all. Okay. So someone like now just turn this off. Okay. But maybe if for some reason I need NEPA, maybe I want to run multiple ACs, okay. and I can just say, okay, let me bring it on temporarily. Okay. So it helps me control my own bill uh. to see a hand so I can focus on solar. So now on the inverter, I can actually see the details I have here. The details that are showing me here, they're actually coming from the inverter. Oh. And how I can see them, I think it's taking time to do because of the network, is just by pressing the down, up and down arrow buttons. Mm -hmm. 
so if i click on um if i click on down you see values here will change as i click on it values here will change values will continue to change to show me different things right now it's showing me that 30 percent of this is 30 percent of the inverter is going to power the load mm -hmm. so the load that is on is consuming 30 percent of the inverter system uh, of the inverter so in in what that value is is 1.65 kilowatts mm -hmm. so 1.65 kilowatts of uh six kilowatts is about 30 30 percent because it's going close to two two kilowatts so you see that with this i can see all the information i'm also seeing on my phone for yeah. so this is what what showing me what i'm consuming right now you see output in kilowatts okay it shows me what i'm consuming right now what about this one yes so if i if i keep going going down i can see other information which will include imputes you can see pvw it shows me what i am producing right now so this is a classic case of i am now consuming more than my production okay so that ac has actually peaked okay now we are consuming two times what we are producing because okay. because the sun has gone down production has gone down okay. but consumption has gone up because we turned on the ac mm. does it make sense and so what's happening now is that the 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 house load is taken from the solar which is producing about 800 and something uh -huh. as well as taken from the battery to power itself okay. does it make sense yeah, yeah so it's consuming from the solar and the battery correct correct so if you want to go out and you just want to turn off everything like you don't want the system to the system you don't want the system to be like working mm -hmm. you can just move this to the middle move this chain over to the middle so it makes sure that the inverter is not giving power out of the system yeah, because i want it on because of when i put uh if i put uh internet inside so i can able to monitor it correct so that would be a valid reason to leave it yeah on. and it's fine you can leave it on because okay. some people say i want to turn it off yeah. let everything just be off uh, you don't really need to yeah. the system can manage, manage itself, itself. Okay, that's yes. so you can leave it yeah. like this in fact the best way is if you want to go out, just turn off the things you don't need. Yeah, yeah. So the consumption comes so, down, but the essential things yeah. which are critical yeah. should stay on. Yeah, yeah, like Your fridge, fridge can stay on exactly. Yeah. If you come back after yeah, two months, yeah, things, yeah, are, yeah. things are still yeah. cool. Um, and so I've told you just by pressing this, you see, see the information you are yeah, seeing you are here. On the phone. You are here. It shows on the phone. Now this is the battery. We always want to keep it on. Mm. We always want to leave it on. Um, however, there may be some times where Maybe the system is behaving some way and you just want to say, okay, let me restart the system. Mm. You understand? Like, maybe it's not charging and I don't understand why. Yeah. So let me just restart so that I understand. The best way to restart the system is turn off this first, turn off this next. There's a, an on and off button on yeah. the key, room key, room key. There's an on and off button. Yeah. Turn off this, then turn off this. Okay. In that, all everything will switch down. Okay. Then when you want to turn it back on, you will go the opposite direction. Turn this on, turn this on, then turn okay. this on. Okay. So that's how to restart your system. Okay. So if for some reason maybe it's not charging and you don't understand why. Yeah. yeah, although there's usually an explanation. But what if you do it the same way you did it? Will it, will it, not, will it... it will work. Okay. It's just the... the <laughs> I don't know, we're going to side effects to it like that. Yeah, there's no reason. Yeah, okay. So, do you have any specific questions? As you said, yeah. And then one more thing the battery, I can also see details about the battery by pressing on this button. Mm -hmm. So, if I click here, it will show me right now that it will show me different things as I press it multiple times. So, right now, one of the things it will show me is. This is at 35%. Mm. So right here, I'm seeing it. And as a matter of fact, I can also see that figure here. Uh, I tell you, this shows many information. So as I continue pressing it, I can see that 35%. You see BMS mm. because they are connected. They are reading each other. So this knows how much, how many this is. So 35%, 35% to know the percentage. Mm. So where you want to get to is, um, we, we need this system to get 100% for each other. Yeah for the first time. So somehow you want to keep managing your load until you can get to that point where you are 100%. When you are 100%, then you can now start using the system uh, normally. 
So you can always come and watch it from here, okay. or even from your phone, for to see how many percent it is. Okay.